Hi guys. Hello. It's Melody Lane here. Welcome to my channel. And this is Alex. Hi guys. Beard Adventures on YouTube. And we are making, I'm making, yeah, he's going to help with chat a little bit. Some lanterns. There's no light in this one yet. Um, you want to show him the other one? We have, we're actually not making this one because it's made the same way as this design. So I'm going to be making this design and we're going to be making a grad one that is, um, color changing. Um, sort of. there's a lot of lights in here, so you can't really see it. Yeah. We have different light options. This lights are different. I have a picture of how these are done so you can see the inside all opened up. Um, this one, we have other light, this pumpkin light. Remember, I bought that and it was too big for my project. I said, I'll find another one. And then just push lights. And because we have bright lights in here, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah. So we took pictures in a little bit darker area of the house, not black, but you know, a little bit darker. So you'll have an idea of what it looks like. And I can see your chat when I'm looking through this camera. So I'm so excited for that because before when I looked through this camera, I couldn't see my chat. Couldn't so see anything over here. Thanks to my supporters, I bought a new monitor that is vertical. And so it can all be chat and I can see it right now. Um, the hot air balloons. Thank you, Crafty Savings. Um, we made, those are totally free, made out of free shapes and design space. So um, those are really fun and easy to make. So I do have a video on those balloons behind us. And should we get started? I think so. Yeah, hold on. Let's. No, other side. Let's do the mm -hmm. shout outs. I don't know that. She doesn't know. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Rob I thought shout outs. Let's try it up here. Here's a shout out. It's not working. Hold on just a second. Let's go to our other camera. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Robin, Tina, Karen, Lori, Tina, Kathy Ann, Melanie, Bonnie, Mel, Beth, Yvette, Billy Sue, Kathleen, Karen, Penny, Linda, Leslie, Natalie, Mary Jane, Anita, Heather, Jennifer, Sonia, Sonia, Bella, Tina, Marie, Susan, Claudette, Kim, Vangie, Kara, Le Leilani, Amanda, Donna Lee, Kathy, Wendy, Lisa, Elizabeth, Nancy, Meta, Rose, Jocelyn, and Virginia. And a huge thank you to my VIPs. Okay. So I want to show you how to get these. I think we're going to go ahead and do... Alex is reaching for lights. There's lights blinking over here. We don't know why. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get the files. And then we're going to do the graduation one first. There are two different types. Let me show you. First, let me show you um, this one. I can't bring that over here. Okay, so this graduation one, it kind of has a graduation hat on it with this. This all comes in the file except for the string. You know, you have to supply your own paper, string, and glue, and lights. But we're going to show you the lights. Um, so this one is put on a little tiny bit different than this type, which is like this one. The lights you can do use all the same lights. There's this has dancing lights. It moves to the beat of the music. Yeah, they're beat sync lights. So uh, there are links to all the lights in the description of the video. 
Um, and I'll show you some pictures of them, like I said. So these are, you put together just a little bit different because it has a solid top. This was the first one I made. And uh, so this is has a solid top where this one goes over the edge. So the only difference in them is how to put the top on. And then of course you have a tassel on this one. We're gonna be actually making a 2022. So when we update, this file has 2022 in the layers panel. So next year we'll update the picture to the 2022. Um, lantern. Well, let me show you how to you get them. The mouse. Oh yeah, you can. A few of the people <laughs> Whoops. Who support Sorry. Um, vellum, yes, it is vellum. Yes, it is vellum, and there is a description in the link. You can get vellum at any craft store. There's a description in the link. There's a link in the description, and. They have colored vellum too at places. This is actually print. Oh, I just had an idea. This is printable vellum. I wonder if you could print a picture. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Well, I was just thinking of printing like a, like with my digital paper or something and having pretty, you know, yeah. pretty colors or uh, coloring it with markers. Oh, they can't see what I'm doing. I'm sitting here playing with this. That's all I'm doing. So you could write on this and color it with markers also because it's printable. So I think you can. And I was just thinking you could print pictures. So we have a blank lantern. We're thinking about doing like the stained glass. Yeah. Like a stained well, glass. Well, yeah. Look. I was... Actually, that before I made this one, I was kind of working on a stained glass one that I didn't finish because I'm like, oh, I, I'm going to use this design. Um, but you could even color in these. So when they're open, like you could color it from the inside. And before we get one together, I'll show you how you could do that. You could just, once it's open, and also, and Hold on. I have so many ideas. What? People keep saying they can't see us. The, they, I think I it's delayed. Okay. Because they can see us. I was like, I'm looking at it like I can see. They you. can't see us. Right. We're our not. pictures. Yeah. Ava, Ella, Fra, Faust. Ella, Ella, Faust. It's the first time she caught alive. Um, but I had other ideas for this and not making it a lantern, but having them set up and like put the light behind them having like a wall of this put a light behind them like uh, i can see it on the mantle of a fireplace or something um and yeah you could print a photo so what i That's what i was thinking too a photo i also had an idea where i didn't make it but where you could put it this way we'd have to have an empty spot here and then have another edge here. That might be neat, especially with family photos yeah. printed on it. Yeah. That would be cool. Or you could put somebody's name in here. It could be a, um, a, a desk of, nameplate. Yeah. There's I'll have to them. make a sideways one. I haven't done that yet. Especially, well, you, you wouldn't necessarily have to have an opening on the bottom. Because what if you just left, like, a hinge where this would open up and then you could slide lights inside? It would just be easier to have it open than making a hinge and having it look nicer. This is the pumpkin. Oh, you have to turn this one on. I get confused on which is which. And it's like a, can you see it moving? It's like, it looks like a flame. It's like a flicker. Yeah. So these are made for jack-o'-lanterns. But wouldn't that be cool? And put a name. You guys, my ideas just keep coming. Um, so I have a blank one of these. And I use the blank one to create the new ones. So this one I thought was kind of feminine. So I wanted to make one that's more masculine. So we're going to put this one together today. I thought this one was more masculine. Of course, it can be for women too. It's just this is more flowery and this isn't. Um, 
but I have a blank one and I'm going to show you how at the end of this video how to customize it for you like if you wanted to put a name in or something so I'll show that when we're done make sure you guys remind me to do that because my mind just keeps going and sometimes I forget things all right um Janet says that would be cute for Christmas with Santa and his sleigh yeah and then we could do so many things like this for Christmas and it's Elia Elia okay thank you sorry I just haven't seen that name that's awesome that's an awesome name okay um and I'm so excited because I have three monitors now and I have chat on every single monitor. Monique has made lanterns with color changing lights. Okay. Oh, and the grad one is not an actual new file except for it's updated. In the same file, you'll see them for 2019 and 2020. Yeah. I thought for a second I said 1990. Oh, welcome, Elia. Leah. Elia. Elia. Yeah. Um, <laughs> take a drink every time we say Elia. <laughs> okay, now where do you get these files? Uh, from MelodyLaneInspired.com. If you are a supporter, you go to supporter projects. If you're not, you can take a look at some of my projects right here in the start here. And um, you get if you do if you support my channel for only two dollars a month it's you get all 950 projects there is exactly 950 projects um if you're going to my monthly crop you might need to know that now just a hint um so we're gonna go to supporter projects and we're gonna put in the password And we're going to tell LastPass not to save it. Okay, so you can go to new right now, but if you're watching this a few months from now, it might not be here in the new. So we have, there's that one. Here's the birthday one, and I'm going to show you pictures of the birthday one. Jamie Leonard made the birthday one. She also designed the birthday one. Thank you, Jamie. And, oh, and here's this one we're making today. We will update this photo once we actually make it. This is just a screenshot of how it is in Design Space. And then here's the blank one that you can use. Now, if you're watching this later, it will not be in new. It will be in 3D projects, yeah, which there are two right now. I don't know why there's two. I will try to fix that. Someone said, can we get a 2022 to be ahead of the game? There's already yes. a 2022 in there. And I'm going to show you that. Um, I put this in twice. <laughs> this is the other one I had, and then I forgot it was already in here, and I edited it again. Mm -hmm. So I will take this one out. Um you can also, the easiest way to find all the lanterns, because there may be more lanterns, I might make more lanterns and not do a video. I will upload this video as the video. So, so you can click here to watch this video on how to put them together. So I'm going to search lantern. And then it brings up all the lanterns. Eileen says these would be nice centerpieces for grad party people. Could yeah. Take home. Yeah, we were thinking that like wedding receptions so as yeah. like a, in the center of the table. You could even put their names or the dates or baby showers or anything. It could be a pretty centerpiece. Uh, okay, so we're going to click here and open. and then you open again so these are not svgs they are design space projects so you just click open in design space and it comes up like this but i already have it here and then you will have edit a copy
and you can customize or you can just click make it there's there's no reason you need to customize this if you're making this year here's the pieces and over here if you click on that it brings up you can take a short walk before getting back to your day thank you alexa uh 2022 so um let me ungroup it just so you can see so you have these so what you'd want to do when you're making those is just hide these in the layers panel and i also want to show you because the vellum comes in eight and a half by 11. so to change that so it doesn't put it on a full page like that it won't cut right you have two options my option is I usually just move this to another mat because you can move object and then you can move it to another mat. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you, you can change the paper size to eight and a half by 11. And then it will automatically do that for you and show you where to put the paper. Remember to choose vellum for these. Got it? Okay, <laughs> you guys are chatting no doubt. All right, are we ready? I guess we're ready to get started. I think so. I think they're waiting. Like, yeah. Come on, just put it together already. <laughs> All right, let's do the... Grad? Yes. Look at that. Paper just flew out of this nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and we have all these ready. I'm, I think we have enough for... We're only making two, right? Oh! Jen, that happens to us sometimes, too. What? <laughs> Alexa just randomly starts going off. Like, the other day, we were <laughs> watching TV. Oh, and, and I forgot to answer your question. The lowest point no, in no, Florida stop. Is Alexa, stop. The this might answer your question. Alexa, the lowest stop. I won't use her name again. We were watching TV, and then in the other room, she just started playing music. <laughs> we're like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, so I forgot to move these and fix these. So if you've already cut this out, these are not quite down far enough, these lines, and I forgot to fix it. Here, can you pull these apart? Yeah. You can just pull them apart. Uh, Janice, she says, guess I'll be going shopping for vellum. So if you go into the links below, there is a link for vellum. And, and it comes like the next day. And if you look at it, if you go like looking on Amazon there's actually different color vellums too uh, so I thought that would be cool to get different colors and someone said make a 4th of July one I was thinking that too I was thinking it'd be cool to do like one with red Fireworks. white and blue and okay, okay to yeah. to um, get started on this the regular designs like this it doesn't really matter uh, you can make whatever side you want, top or bottom, or turn it over. It doesn't matter. But when it has words, you need to have it mirrored like this. So you don't need to mirror it to cut it out. In la no, you don't mirror it to cut it out. You just want to mirror it Back to one. put this on. You want to put it on the inside. So we want the outside facing down. Because we're going to glue these to the inside. And this is really easy. I posted these on Facebook and somebody says, oh, I wish I had that talent to make that. And I'm like, there's no talent needed. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm going to do first? No. Here, put Are the pin in the glue. Score lines? Yes, I'm going to score it first. With your phone folder. Well, yeah, nope. I guess. So I'm going to fold it on all the score lines. And the one I was working on had birds in it. <laughs> oh yeah, Alex was designing one of birds in it. It's really pretty. Is that the right? Yeah. So I kind of just fold it. Bend it. 
Susan says, make a lantern and make a wreath of flowers to go around it as a fancy centerpiece. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, would be yeah. pretty. And these two pieces are exactly the same. Samesies. Twinsies. You could use different colors papers on these too if you wanted. Oh, and I didn't show you the birthday one yet and the pictures of these. So after I get this made, I will show you the pictures of the other ones with the different lights. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it's much easier to use one of these lights. This one has a remote control, this one is push, but it's much easier to use these than the other lights that we have because he string he strung his through all these. And it took quite a while. It did take a while. He was gonna do it in the video and we I decided like, it took this, way too long. This is taking too long. And if you have a lot to do, you don't really want to do that. But the one that goes to the music would be really cool for like a nightlight or for somebody's birthday just to have in their room. And there's cool. a remote for the lights. So you can change the color and everything. So I'm just going to add glue around the outer edge. You can add it in here. Uh, and the letters time, right? if you want. The, I don't know what so you're talking the weight, about. The cardstock? No. Is that not one time? This is just 80. Oh. I thought. Uh, this I is just know. cricket cardstock. Yeah. There's nothing special about it. I thought it. regular. <laughs> I thought it was just one time. <laughs> is that craft board just one time? What was one time? Possibly. I don't know. We talked about 110 in a video recently. Yeah, it's probably where I heard it. <laughs> I don't know these things. Okay, so I put it down in one end and then kind of push it up and then I push over where all the glue is. It doesn't matter if you can see this. So you can put it in each letter if you want to put glue in there because you don't see it because you don't see it from the side. See how easy that was? Now if you wanted to color it, you could color in here on the back of it so you can see that it's and like maybe with the maybe with the other one we'll try a little coloring on one just to see what it looks like you should do you should glue one down and then glue another one down and then give me one so then i can color and while you're coloring <laughs> do you know what i mean uh, yeah do you want to color the other one right meow yeah okay, okay. well after i get this side done we'll I'll do one of the other, just one little section. Okay. What are we using to color? Uh, yes. So I should go get Everblend? Yes. What colors? Uh, the, the thing is red. Okay, so... The paper is red. I get that. Maybe, maybe, maybe a blue. Some blues. I don't know. I was thinking red, white, and blue, maybe. Maybe you could just do some a blue and keep some white. Like, yeah. I don't know. Do whatever you feel. Okay, so we got that nice. done. Now all we have to do is this one. But because he's going to do some experimenting, because we haven't even tried coloring, let me, this is the next one we're doing. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just fold it this way. And I want this side to be the bottom with the two things. I just think it looks better at the bottom going that way. It's really up to who's ever making it. Yes, Lisa, the links are in the description. Yes, all the links are for the different types of lights. Yeah. And I, we will show you the different types of lights in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, we're going to glue this one down. And, uh, 
I'll do this piece here. And because you're going to color this one, I'm going to put some down in here. It might help with your coloring. So basically what she's saying, this is, this side will be up against the wall. <laughs> yes. You won't see. You, you won't ever see my side because it'd be up against the wall. Yeah, you won't see the side he's coloring. Now, when you color this, you have to really color it well don't just kind of scribble to get some color on you'll see every stroke i think on the vellum and i don't know if it matters what side you I, do i was saying this side will go up against the wall oh because it's gonna be <laughs> ugly yeah oh i gotcha <laughs> i was like oh all right <laughs> okay now he's gonna go over there and color it and he's gonna color on this side not this side and hope for the best yeah, we're going to see what happens. <laughs> I have some big lines I should not cross. I should not be able to cross. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish this one. Now, in a few of these, in the lanterns we've already made, when he was pulling us off the mat or the something happened and it ripped a corner on a couple of them, and he was going to redo it. I said, no, no, no. Let's see if it works. And it did. So if you rip a corner of the vellum or something, don't worry because it didn't show at all. Guys, give me three colors to use. Tell Alex three colors to color. Now, remember, he's doing this color of red. Um, it's already on red, so... You could use red because it'll look different. Yeah. Yeah, you could do this for Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, they said getting ideas for Cinco de Mayo at Spanish Springs. Is there a bottom so I could put lights to hang from a tree? Um... There isn't a bottom, but I thought about that. Um, so, purple. You could do it. For one thing, you could just turn it upside down or put the bottom piece on the, the top piece on the bottom and then make something for the top that you can string strings through. Um, this is the piece that goes on the regular one. This is the piece that goes on the graduation one. So if you're doing a regular one, you could do this, duplicate this, and cut a few holes in it for strings to put through. But then your light is kind of stuck in there, so maybe you don't want to put this on the top. Maybe you want to add holes on the edge and just keep the top open. Oh, different triangles of tissue paper make stained glass. Different colors of tissue paper. We got orange, yellow, purple like a sunset. I don't know if that design will look like a sunset, though. Because it has so many lines in it. Are you going to show us a sneak peek before you're done? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> this design is so random. Like, I'm like looking through it. I'm like, wait, is there? What is it? Repeat. I don't know if it does. I'm I'm realizing that I don't think it does. <laughs> it's a way up here. Now the blank lantern is completely uh free doesn't there's no images that cost anything these i'm not sure what font this is if it was a free font jamie do you know jamie help me out with these lanterns okay so now we have the two of these we're going to connect them we're going to glue this piece we're going to glue this on top of there so they will be connected. Yep, 
Yeah, you could put the Canadian um, leaf in one. I think he's just randomly coloring. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, pretty much. I missed, messed up a couple spots. But they, they dropped the yep. So color in those areas. So I'm just going to lay this on here. I'll do it this way. We want it to be even on the edge and the top and bottom or the sides if I have it this way. This is why I like to use glue because I can move it and get it even here and then go down and move it as I need to to the edge. And I have, see the glue? I feel like I, I need to stick a little more glue in there because I didn't have enough glue on the very edge. or it dried too fast. When I first got this Barely Art glue, it was drying too fast. Now it's not. And you know, the thicker it goes, the longer it takes to dry. Because I'm using that tip, I'm gonna use this to push down all the glue. Get that done right. So when I was making this, this is one of the ideas I was getting, like to stand up like this, and I know you guys can't see it, <laughs> oh, well, um, because you could even like fold this this way and then fold this this way and have it, you know, kind of go like this. Um, and you'd have to fold these back, but and have it be like a wall type. Do you know what I mean? And you can put lights behind it. Like it doesn't have to be a lantern. It can be standing up like this with a light. Keep pushing this one between each one. Let me see if I can. Like it would just kind of be like that and have the light. Just put some lights behind it. Wouldn't that be pretty? And you could do that with any of the designs. Yes, Kathy said she might make one for her 50th anniversary next month. Congratulations. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to put glue on here, and then we're going to fold this down and glue that edge. Now, if before you do that part, though, if you're using one of the string lights, now is the time to do the string lights. You want to show them the picture of how? Yes. I'm going to show you the picture of how we did it. How I did it. How Alex did it. <laughs> okay. Um, I got to bring you over here. Let me, I got lots of pictures set up to show you guys. So let me find. First, I'm going to show you the birthday one since we got this. So this is the one that uh, Jamie did. And these are like bubble letters and she colored them in. You could, like the Cricut wrote them in black. If you don't want to color in, but you want more color, you could change the ink on each one to be a different color too, if you wanted to. Um, and then here it is without colored in. So you can see it just written. I do like it so much better colored in. Okay, let's move these out of the way. I started with a certain design and I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> in his coloring. Yeah. Okay, now I want to show you the lights that Alex has used. This is a little video and we're gonna play it and it has non-copyright music. A 
Isn't that cool? So it dances to the music? So these are really, really cool. I think this would be a good gift for somebody, for, just for the room, just for one, not for a whole party. I mean, you could do them for a whole party, but um, the lights. <laughs> Let's show how the lights were done. If Do I have those pictures ready? I also want to show you while I'm looking for the other one. This is the, oh, this thing's right in the way, isn't it? This is the one that it's flickering. And it wasn't even dark. This is, this is just so you can see it better. I do not have those other, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is the lights that he did. So it took him quite a while. They're like on wires. Alex, can you explain like what you explained to me? So. You started over here? Yeah, so. And you went back and forth? I, yeah, so I, I love like. See, he like looped it and went back and forth. It's like five times and then across the top to only to one. Okay, there. across this top and then down. And then I did like another five there and it's like back and forth with those up on the top and then down, back and forth. And then I, once I got to there and went back up to the top and went all the way back across and then did all the ones on the bottom, the rest of the lights. I wanted to leave one side clean because that's how you glue it to. Yeah, you don't want to put them over here because you're going to glue this piece over here. And the font that we used in here is Cooper Black. It's a system font. Uh, so it's not a Cricut font. So that shouldn't cost you anything. So then this uh, project, I think, is totally free. Um, and then I have a picture of it with the lights on when it's open. And you can see how I put glue in here. And then I thought, it, I don't know if it's really needed, so I didn't put it in the rest of them. And you don't really, I don't think it's needed, but it doesn't hurt. Just uses more glue and time. <laughs> um, I started with three colors, now I'm all over the place. Okay. Um, oh, I'm like, okay, where were we? What were we doing? And I lost my OBS. There we are. Came back over here. Okay. So now we're going to glue this piece on. But I think first, so we had these little tabs at the top separate where you glue them on and i'm like i want to make this easier so they don't have to glue them on and get them straight so i just welded them to the project so if you made one of these lanterns before these were not welded to the top and now they are and so we're just going to fold them they just get folded all up or down i don't know where you how you move your paper Have you turned it over to look at it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's definitely uh, random now. Well, it's all right. Which I kinda so like. now we're going to glue this like this. And then we're going to have this on top. Oh, for a second I'm like, wait a minute, my hole didn't pop out. But it did. We need a hole in the top of our graduation hat. If I had time beforehand to like map out the colors, I think it would look really cool. Yeah, but we didn't this even think of totally that. Totally random. <laughs> and I think I just didn't color enough as a kid. No, I just wanted to color. So I'm putting a lot around the edge that I didn't do before. Make sure you get it all the way up to that edge. Okay. I'm gonna put 
this on. I'm going to hold it up so I can see that it's even. I'll get it even at the top and then push it down. And I say that because on my first one, I was getting even on each side and then I squeezed them on each side, but then there were gaps in the middle and I had to pull it all apart and redo it. So you want to get it good at one end and then go down. still feel like this is... I think that will be fine. Once it dries, so you won't see that. Okay, because we're not putting the lights in like that, that's why we did this. Remember, if we were doing the dancing lights, you have other lights. Did we have a... This, yeah, there's these over here. What are those? These just kind of, they're like, they're not bright white. Are these a link in there too? Yeah. Okay. So they're just more white. They're not colored. Or are they colored? They're not colored. I think there's Oh, but look. You can do combination yeah. in wave, sequential, slow glow, chasing flash, slow fade twinkle flash steady on and off i believe there's and a that's the same thing for the beat saber not beat saber beat saber beat. But, so with these those ones with the music thing oh. next to it are the there's a th it's hard to see but the top four have music four or five four okay otherwise you can have them go without music yeah six hours on 18 hours off timer. Oh, that's cool. These beat ones have a timer. Yeah. That's nice. And you can put the whole thing inside. So it's covering up the whole thing. So you don't see any wires at all. You can have that totally cover up this whole thing. You don't have to have that part out. I'm going to just put this all up here. Okay. So now we're going to... Let's do the tassel. Let me get some string here behind Eva. And it's red. So let's use some red and white twine. Oh yeah, we could use a brad on the top of this too. I just tied knots inside, but I think a brad is needed. Alex, you should find a brad. I like how many exactly what those were. <laughs> yeah. And I could have made the cap in black also. I'll use this big one, I think. I don't know, it's kind of flat. There are other brads. Kind of like the big ones, but they're flat, flat. I'd rather have it round. Well, I'll use this one. It doesn't really matter. And think of brads. Okay, did I cut string? I did. Okay, uh, so what I did when I made this, I did a little knot at the bottom just to have a little bit more security inside the tassel. Trying to put it at the bottom of my string. And tie another one. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's wrong with my fingers. Can't tie a knot. It's because you're in a live video. Yeah. 
Things are different when you're in live video. True story. Alex has learned this in life. I'm just trying to make this not a little bigger. Yes, I'm going to show you how to customize one at the end of the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this. I'm just going to, and I'm going to do, see how he did that? I just thought of that just now. I'm holding it down with this phone folder. Could really use anything. And then I'm pulling this up and it kind of curves that. So you could totally do that with rolled flowers. I don't know, maybe you do. And then I'm gonna glue this string inside here. And I'm gonna put some glue alongside here. And I'm gonna roll this. Now, you could use tweezers or anything to roll these. Can you give me a sneak peek? Hmm. <laughs> Are you guys dying for a sneak peek of his coloring? Your reaction? <laughs> <laughs> oh, put a gem on top of the bread. Great idea. Welcome, Deborah. She says she joined Patreon. This bone folder was a gift from Jamie Leonard. Now you could kind of pull these out too if you wanted and I just kind of go along with my fingernail just to you know, like it's going out a little bit. So LaBelle Mel on Facebook says, I do need an assistant. Alex, want a job? <laughs> he has a very busy job and yeah. he's doing his own channel also. So what I did in mine is I went in here and did even more glue at the top. You see that? It's, it's not focusing, but I just put more glue at the top and see, it's good. And then we have this. Okay, we have to do this before we glue this on top, but I wanna lay this on here to see how long, I want this to kind of come over the edge a little bit. So I'm kind of thinking of where I need my knot. And this string is entirely too long, but I usually do that. So now I'm gonna turn this over Make sure I have enough to hang over there. And then I'm gonna tie a knot here. And pull it down to the bottom. So I will say I tried to use some like lighter colors and it looks like it didn't even like color it. So darker is probably better. Oops, this knot needs to be down at the bottom. And it's not gonna get there. 
I'm going to pull this through more so it's easier to tie. My string does not want to bend the way I want it to bend. Oh, I need it in the southern knot, not that one. You could stick a paper clip on this too, just to hold it inside. Tie it to a paper clip. You just don't want it to go through that hole is really all it is. There, I think a knot is big enough. It is good. So I'm going to also add a little glue. This. What is a bread? Did you answer that? No. A bread. Don't worry. I've heard of them before too, but I didn't know they were called breads. Oh well, yeah, y'all know what it, I mean, you just don't know the name of it. It's those things that you stick in paper and then you open up the little legs through that way. So we're going to turn this over. I call them thumbtacks with legs. And I'm going to stick the little legs through the hole. It's better if you don't open it beforehand, but I was trying to show you what it is. There. Donna says you could even put a bead on the string. Yes, you can. There's lots of things you can do. Top of the tassel. See? Now we can cut off a lot of this on the inside. And then we are going to glue this to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little thing off. Because I want a lot of glue. I'm going to need a refill. I haven't refilled this bottle yet. It's lasted me a long time. And I'm going to stick this on. And this should overhang on all sides. Oh, if you flipped it upside down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. Flip it upside down and go inside and push the tabs down. This file is under supporter projects and melodylaneinspired.com. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, Nightbot just shared a link to the glue. It says art glitter glue, but it's at the same link. I'm using the barely art glue, but you can also use art glitter glue. And I'm not paying attention. I got my hat on upside down. See, I was reading chat while I was doing that. Upside down. And not upside down, but look. I don't know if it'll matter. Mm. I, I mean, it's crooked. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Why? Because you're not graduating in 2022? <laughs> no. I think it'll be fine for a yeah, picture. It's fine. And you can move this to any side. Oh, you guys can't see it well. See? You can hang it in the corner. And then you can put the lights in it if you don't want to do. You can't see that. I'm gonna put it inside like this. Well, put it. Hold it from the bottom. So no, no. Hold the light from the bottom so they can see what it would look like. Oh. Standing up. Yeah. It would look like this. And we have bright lights on. Yeah. So this is a really bright light. And then you can also do the pumpkin light. 
and it'll look like you have a candle inside. Thank you, Jamie, for answering questions. All right, let's get started on the next one. And we get to see Alex's. Let's see it. So this one has a different top. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the side he colored. Okay. Are we ready for the reveal? I guess. It's all pretty. Ready. That's pretty. I like it though. Let's see what it looks like with the light. <gasps> Look at how pretty it is. It Alex, you did light. good. Like, it won't be that bright. Well, if you have it down here and you have it in a darker room and not yeah. like we have a lot of bright lights on our desk right now. So does vinyl stick and, to vellum? I would think so. Yeah, I would think so too. And you would have a top on this and all four sides would be having the light in it. So it would be pretty bright. That is beautiful, Alex. Thanks. It's just random. Yeah. I, start, I started with a design and I found the... So this, this is what the back looks like. You could have kids help you too. Um, it, it's really... Do you have any tips or anything? Do we need to know anything? <laughs> Color. <laughs> you just color? Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to get done. Okay, let's finish. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been an hour already. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, you're doing this one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought you were just going to show them some ideas you could do. No, we're making it. You guys want to stay and make it? Reflective paper liner on the top would be cool. Oh. And the sides. The sides, like in the corners. That'd be cool. Oh, and something we didn't explain, I think we didn't, when we did the lights, showed you the picture of the lights, he just taped those with masking tape. They're not glued in in case we uh, ever want to use those lights for something else, especially if you're, uh, yeah, he just used alcohol markers, the Arteza Everblend markers. This one's the royal purple. Like if you're making them for a one-time event and you're putting in all those lights, you can reuse the lights. Take them out of the lanterns. And if you're using these lights, you could probably uh, hang them better too because you don't need it to hold a light at the bottom. I don't know. You would need some kind of thing to hold that other part though okay now I wanted that to be the bottom this to be the bottom we're gonna have to put this part back in the glue which we probably need to stick a pen in the glue to unclog that tiny bit thank you Sue for sparing my patreon yes Alex does have a patreon uh, he has different levels of support. If you if you support at $10 level, you get an enamel pin of his logo, which is kind of really cool. And he also does, at the $10 level, he sends you, he actually hand writes and sends you postcards. Not just any postcards. They're postcards that he took the picture of and made the postcards. So they're of his photography. And I see, I didn't. Yes, Tracy, in the description, there are links for all of the different types of lights. Yeah. They're all from Amazon. Are you coloring them too? No. You're just gonna make that one side. Yeah, we don't have time for that. Okay. <laughs> I guess we, well, yeah, because I want to show them how to put this top on, because this is different than the graduation one. Oh, look, we, oh, no, we don't have an extra one. See, this is ripped at the bottom. I'm going to use it anyway, because you won't see it, I don't think. 
And at the five dollar a month online, you get digital postcards. Yeah, but it's not handwritten and stuff. Yeah. And you don't get it in the mail. on Facebook, the share cell links don't work when I share them that way through Restream. If you go over to YouTube, those links should be working. Yeah. And, um, or if you're in my groups, I always share the sales. You can just use any of the links for Cricut. Debbie says the digital postcards make a nice, nice backgrounds for phones or Echo Show devices. Oh yeah, they are really beautiful pictures. Thanks, Debbie. I really like the color, but we're not doing it. I had to think of how to put these together. How to do the one. Okay, so I'm gonna, I need to know that these are the same, yes. So because this design is not the same at the top and bottom, the flower one is, this one is the same at the top and bottom. This one is not, so we wanna make sure they match. I mean, if it doesn't, That's find out who that. notices. What? Since I changed the postcards because they used to be like real flimsy, they had yeah. a glossy front, but now they have a matte front. Yeah. The post office doesn't mess up her postcards. Oh, good. I mean, because he couple. most postcards are kind of glossy, like a photo, yeah. right? So that's what he was ordering. But now he's changed there's it. There's been a couple incidents where they were getting messed up. Uh, Gemma says, do you know they have a UK cricket shop now? And I think the the matte finish looks good on some of them. I mean, it, yeah, it looks just I good. liked it. Okay. That's right? Yes, but I'm going to... I'm confused. Oh, it doesn't look right at all. No, it is. Okay, this is where I... I like to have it this way. It's just easier for me. And actually, it's easier this way. When I turn it this way, so I can pull this up here. I'm going to get it straight at one side. Get it even on the edge. Like on the corner, get it all even. And then slide your fingers down and make sure it's in. all even. There you go. And then I'm going to... I was going to say, I'm going to pressurize the glue. Pressurizing. Pressurizing. Manual pressurizing. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Notice this one does not have tabs at the top or bottom, because that's actually the bottom. I'm going to add more. Remember, get it all the way up to the edge. I'm going to put it down here first because this glue dries so fast. Yeah, the back side of the coloring does not look as pretty. As no, it does not look pretty <laughs> at all. <laughs> but that would be really pretty even on the other design I have, the flower design. Yeah. Okay, now I want to know from you guys watching the live video, who is here watching? Because you watch all my videos. 
uh, but really had no desire to make a lantern and now you want to make one. Let me know if that is anybody here. Susan says you should let Alex color it first. <laughs> well, too late. <laughs> It'll take too long. I just want to show you, let you guys see. I need to show you how to put the top on. And we don't want to be here for another hour. That would be me. Yeah. See, a lot of you. Isn't this? It's really not that hard. Alex is a man of many talents, says Oma. Can you use double-sided tape? Yes, you could totally use double-sided tape instead of glue. Kathleen says, but now I want one in every window. <laughs> oh, yeah, these will be pretty in your window. <gasps> Great idea. Okay. Leah, yes, it's, uh, it's super simple. Okay, so now this part you have not seen. This has a square score line. It also has a square in the middle. If you wanted to add something to the middle, it has that right in the center so you know where the center is. And I'm going to fold these down. So it will look like a square. Did not want to. Now overflowing with ideas. Got to make one. <laughs> and you know what? When I made the other one, I didn't glue this all together yet. I glued this on it as I went. So I'm going to tell you what I did because I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it a different way now. Um, before I glued the last piece on the side, I started gluing this in because these, we put glue on these sides and then they go inside here to glue oh. like that. See that? Yeah. But I'm not going to do that now because I've glued it together. And this, this might even be easier. Look how that fits in there. Well, yeah, now you can just take it out. Well, and I can stick my hand inside and use this and push down. So what I can do is, you guys can't see that very well. Just make it a hinge. Okay, I'm going to do one side yeah, first. So I'm going to put glue on this, and then I'm going to press it down to the inside of this. So it'll look like this with all these sides going up and then I will push those in. So I'll get one down really good first. So I need to put glue on this. I think this might be easier than the way I did it the first time. What's the dimensions of this thing? This one is a bad one. I'll try to... Uh, four inches. Oh, so it's four by four. Yeah. And you can make them smaller and you can make them a little bigger. So I'm just putting the score line right at the top edge. I'm not doing a very good job at that. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up this way so I can see this. I want it right on the edge. I like the hinge idea too. Yeah, if I can do it. Cause I need to see Terry Evans says that I'm going to add it would be good for this point. Yeah, probably. So I put glue inside there. It's just hard to see that it's at the top. And if I use double-sided tape, I can't move it. Oh, 
Okay, I think that's good. Now I need a little glue here in the corner. And I'm going to try this one. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh. Oh, what? Make it a phone booth. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put glue on all sides. Uh, Terry says make it blue and it could be something from back to who. Yeah, but you can make one side different. You can make a blue one and make it a phone booth. Yeah, from Doctor Who. Or, no, just a red one. Oh, you mean a red one? Yeah, it could be like a London. Yeah. Now I'm just going to stick all these in. I'm going to try. Go in. stuck. Now I can go inside here and I'm just pushing down on all the tabs with the end of this. And you can look in there and see. Okay, so there's that. Let's. Hey, Alex, can you turn off that light? Yeah. I was gonna say, should we turn no, off? No, that one. Oh. I was gonna say, should we turn off some lights? So. I'll turn that one off too. Yep. I'll go around here and the light. <laughs> so we can show them, and then I I'll know. show them the pumpkin I was gonna light. Do that. I was going to do that, but I didn't want to do it while you're still working. See, it's still out. light in here. The top one? No, it's the it's the outside solar tube that is oh, giving yeah. us all the light. Okay, what about this? This looks... Oh. Lower. No, uh, you got to find the shadow. There we go. But it's still... I need lower. I need to hide the light. Yeah, but if you go over the camera, they can't see. I know. I don't know. Okay. And here's the pumpkin light. We don't have any extra music lights right now. So. But that looks cool with the pumpkin light. It gives it a different color. See how the light is flickering? Now, in the video, it looks much brighter than what it actually is. We can see the color here. Yeah. Look at the difference in the video. Yeah. Definitely. It looks different in the video. The light is actually brighter than what this is showing. Like this, this is not so white in person. And I don't know how to change that in the video. And then if you don't color it. Isn't it pretty? And then here's this one. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make your own. And then there's the, where's the other lights? These? these? Yeah. I don't know how to use these. You just hit the button. There's a button right here. Oh. So that's one. And then you can... See, can you tell they're flickering? I don't know you how you go, change you it. You just hit, hit the again. button? Yeah. Oh can't see it too much in video. Hit it again. I'm going to... I have it at the bottom so you can see the... It's kind of hard to see in the video through the thing. That one... Is... This one takes a while to get bright and then it slowly goes dimmer and now it's dimmer. Flashing. Oh, 
different. That's like a chase. That's what a chase is. Oh. I don't like that. What's this one? Steady on, and then oh. this one should be off. Okay. But aren't they pretty? I like it. And then the color. Okay, now we're going to go in a minute. Let me put the pen in the glue. Hey, I wonder if I turn this down, it'll look. No, it just turns it off. Put it all the way up at the top. And then. See, this in the camera is what it looked like before, kind of. You could still see the color. Aren't they awesome? All right. Alex, will you turn those lights off? We are going to go are. over. No, these. Oh. Um, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you how to make your own. Let's go ahead and grab. This was under supporter projects. We put in the password. We searched lantern. Or you can go to 3D. Or you can go to new. And we're going to open up the blank one. Yeah, Amazon has lots of lights that will work. Yeah. You could even look up like fairy lights. You could put Christmas lights in them. Yeah. Battery operated ones. Now, you do have something that I'm curious. I'm going to make this smaller so we can see. All right. While you're doing that, I'm going to go get one of the other lights you have. Okay. So this is the top. We're not messing with the top today. Um, we are going to mess with these white pieces. But if you want them the same, you only need to do one white piece. You could put a different name inside these. You can make them the same or put different. Uh, you can make them any name or anything. And uh, wait, I was going to do text. I'll make one that says Alex. Whoops, I want it to go up and down. So I'm gonna put A, and then enter L, enter E, enter X. Uh, you can pick a font. Eagle bold. Let's just try that one. Okay, I'm going to um, set this. I'm also going to offset. You know what? I need these to go together. I need to size them together. Um, make them bigger. I'm thinking, guys. I don't think I want the offset that big. Where'd the offset go? I'll make it a little smaller. You don't have to do offset. Okay, we're gonna move this one out of the way. My other idea would not work. <laughs> we are going to ungroup these.
Why can I not ungroup them? I can ungroup that. I can't ungroup this. I think I know why. I'm going to turn off the weld offsets. Turn them off. Yes, now they're separate. I've never done that before. <laughs> and I could. I want them to weld into the sides a little bit. So I'm going to kind of do this. And if you do yours, you just have to design it the way you want to design it. Uh, I want that at the bottom a little. I'll move this one lower. Move that lower. Can I get it there? No. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay. And then these I can ungroup. Okay. So now what I have to do, I cannot weld any, I can weld, but you will lose these score lines. So what we want to do first is select the white piece. And just so you guys can see this better, I'm going to change the background color. So we're going to select this white piece and we're going to detach. These score lines are attached together so we can just move them out of the way and add them anytime we want. And I can weld these. So we select them all and we click weld. And then we have those there. And then you can put these, let's move this to the back. You can put these and put these on it if you want. Like this would be a totally different one. You could add more layers if you wanted to. Um, if you want a design in there, you can go in and make your own design. Um, I don't know. That wouldn't that be pretty cute? Okay, wait a minute. I just... I just had an idea. Uh, let me go in and show you another thing. If you go to image sets and go to edge, I actually used a mandala design for one of them. And one of them I used the edge to edge one. I sliced one of these to get that last design that we did. You could do the mermaid ones. Let's bring that in. You could do one like this. You could do any of these uh, snowflakes. Aren't they cool? Okay, let's insert. Okay, this video may, may be getting longer. Um, you could do it like this. I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to duplicate it just so I don't lose one, and I'm going, I need this bigger than that, because I'm going to slice this light one with this design, I'm going to slice those, we only have two selected so we can slice them, so we don't need that, we don't need that, uh, we could just use this and delete this one, and we could... I'm going to duplicate this because I have another idea too. Uh, we could weld that. Oh, there his name is. So now we have like a mermaid design. Isn't that cool? Okay. But I want to have the little guy peeking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset him.
I'm going to. Well, we gotta make them smaller. I was like, that's massive. So I'm gonna select them both. You can be a little smaller. Select them both. I'm selecting them both so they're both will fit the same right size. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna glue this down here. I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna put that down there and then I'm selecting them both and then I'm gonna weld it. Welding is kind of like gluing. It all turned black, Did that's you? okay. We can make it any color we like. So now I'm gonna put this guy on the front. Let me turn hit this to the back. And then you can make that little guy and stick him on there like that. How cute is that? I mean, for me, it's cute. Wait, let me see if I can just move this and get all those letters there. Isn't that cute? The print and cut. No, you can do layers like you could no. um, cut all the black outline and it will just go on there with some green. You could do it in vinyl. Yeah. Isn't it cute? So you can make any design you want like that. Design space is full of different things. Oh, Al, did you save the bird? No. I was going to say I didn't see it. No. Uh, he did one with a bird on a branch and then just repeated it and had, a, you know, birds like going across it. Like flipped it horizontal. It. Yeah. I was seeing him, like, on one side put, like, well, I was trying to figure out a way to do mother, so I would have to do mom. Yeah. Like, mom's day or something. Because mother is too long of a word for that, I feel. Yeah, there's just so many. You can put animals in them. You can have it draw on it too. Oh, a uh, shadow on the back side, so. Oh! So like, yeah. up front and then right on the other side, put the shadow. You could do a bulldog. So the flower one I made is from a mandala. Oh, that was, oh, I just got an idea. You could do like the bulldog. A little bigger. I should size them together. Um, I'm just gonna weld this. And I'm going to make it darker so you guys can see it. Oh, it welded that in. So when you when that happens, it welds a piece you don't want welded. Here's what you do. Let me take this. Move. Oh, and then you have to reattach the score lines. So you just put them back there. Scroll the mouse over them and attach them. But... I need to make this much bigger so it will weld properly. So we are going to just drag this to be bigger. I'm going to click weld. And now his ear didn't do that that it did before. Now we have to make it back to the same size as the other ones. I don't know what, oh, it's smaller than that. I'm like, I don't. You can just click on this to see it's 8.4 by 10 by 5. I guess I'll have to make the bird one. They want the bird? Yeah. And then you could put this behind it. Like, after you have the vellum on, you could put this as a shadow behind it. Or this as a shadow behind it behind the dog. See, you want to size them all together at the same time. Yeah. 
but that would be cool. Let me zoom in so we can see this better. See, they're not sized properly because I did them not at the same time. Let's make these there. Let's group that. Send it to the back. Deborah says she's looking for the password to get file. Uh, it's uh, if you if you're a Patreon supporter, all you have to do is go to patreoncom Melody Lane. Make sure you're logged in, and it's the top post. Always, it's the top post. Uh, patreoncom Melody Lane, but you have to be logged in to see it. Wouldn't that be fun? Like you can put that after you put on the vellum, then put this on the back of the vellum, and it will be kind of a shadow that you will see when the lantern's on. And then a user from Facebook, where can I find lantern templates? MelodyLaneInspired.com. You have to be. Yes, a I show you. Um, I showed twice. Yeah, but I believe in, in this the, video the on how to do that. Yeah, it's at the beginning, so you can go back and watch it from the start. You're on Facebook and you don't know where to restart it or it's not starting, you can always go to youtube.com slash Melody Lane and find this video. All of these videos that have projects, I have a playlist. Let me find that playlist. It, what? It's just on you right now. Remember? I know. Okay. This is what it looks like without lights on and just only the dream yeah, box. I don't, I don't have any lights on in the house except for behind me. Um... Okay, let's go here. Okay, this is at top because it's live. These are upcoming videos. We have Abby Carrillo is going to be here Thursday night. She's also a Cricut product expert. Uh, so these are recent uploads. And you can go see more. Make sure you watch this one. There's a giveaway in it. Uh, Mug Press and then Cricut Design Space Classes. And then Melody Lane Inspired Projects. So that will always be in this playlist. Uh, you can click play all to look through all the ones. These are only ones from 2021. If you want to see older years, there is a playlist for each one. So there's 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015, 2014. So I have been doing these projects since 2014. Uh, to Patreon supporters. And then you can also go up here to playlist or videos or my community. If you support on Patreon or on YouTube, you'll want to go here to membership or community and see what I'm posting in the password. If you support at $4.99 on YouTube, if you click the join button, you will uh, get the password through either community or membership. I think they both will take you there. All right, is that it? Do we have any other questions? Hi guys. Here, I'll scoot over. I'll let you in. Okay, I'm so excited that you guys love these lanterns so much and are excited about them. Uh, I've had the lantern in here for a long time, and I didn't do a video on it, and I thought they're nice for people that want them, and I wasn't excited about it because I didn't need one. But then I'm like, I'm going to do a lantern, and then it just got more fun and more fun and more ideas and more ideas. Did you want to show this one with the lights off? Oh. Yeah, hold on, guys. Is that this one? Uh, overhead. Is that this one? Yeah. I can't read on the other monitor. I got three monitors. So if you just joined, this is the other one. This is kind of going with the... It's like the music. You know, that your voice or Okay, so don't have any music and see what it does. Oh, that is this one music? No, these are just other ones. Why is that one so lighter? It's like pastel. What? The light. Look at the camera. Now it hit a different one. When you had a different setting, it was darker. Like, 
Oh, is it because it had all of the colors? Yeah, it had all of them on at the same time. Oh, I see. When you have them all on, then it's like a lighter color, almost yeah. like light. I like the blue and the purple. So, if we don't say anything. <laughs> oh, it it does it when we talk. Do 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 do. Or when we laugh. That would be fun to have on in a room and with having company over and they don't know it. <laughs> and then they're like, that light just goes on whenever you you want it. Why is why it, is it, why is it going off when I'm talking? Okay. Time yeah, these it. are pretty easy. All right, guys. Let's come back over here. So we can say our goodbyes. Um, I never say that word. He doesn't ever say it. Yay! Elia! 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 Take a drink. Uh, <laughs> Elia. Just became a Patreon member. And it usually gives us a, a, an alert. Yeah. Well, there are some of them working. The I don't think so. No, they did when somebody joined. When Elia wow. joined, it did. I don't know. The, it's not always working for everything right now. I have to look into that. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. And we'll see you Thursday night with a special guest. And she has a Spanish channel. But she speaks English. So she'll be in English on my channel. Bye.